Hi guys, so today I want to talk about abbreviations that are used in the post-production field. So the first one is CGI and it stands for Computer Generated Imagery. It is anything that is 3D that you see on the screen and it is made using the computer, hence the name, Computer Generated Imagery. So it can be a video game, it can be a 3D animation, maybe just a model made in the computer, but it does not include the live action shot, that is VFX. VFX uses elements, so it can be 3D, it can be just 2D, and they integrate in live action shot that was filmed on set. So that is the difference between visual effects and CGI. And the next abbreviation to mention is SFX, that can stand for sound effects, which is a completely different field. It's basically a sounds for explosions, fire, maybe rain, footsteps, basically any sound that is recorded to recreate a real action that is happening on the screen. It can also stand for special effects and it comes from on old times when there was no computers and no 3D, so all of these explosions, mechanical robots, any live effect had to be created on set instead of CG in post-production. Special effects are present today and can be used alone or together with visual effects. But nowadays we can create all the simulations, fires and explosions and, and rain and so on using the computer. It's called digital effects, in short FX. Let's visually overview the connection between these departments. Digital effects can be used in CGI, like a 3D video game, or in visual effects, like an integrated explosion in the shot, but it is still under the CGI. Similar with CGI, it can stand alone like a 3D animation, or as a part of visual effects, for example, creating a background to replace the green screen. Special effects made on set, so it is not directly connected with post-production, so it is separate from the group. If we put them in a chronological order, it would be visual effects for First, then CGI as a part of visual effects and digital effects as a part of CGI. Visual effects artists can have CGI skills when CGI artist does not have visual effects skills. CGI artist only works with 3D world. If person knows how to integrate an element into the footage, he can be a visual effects artist. So when you write in your CV, be careful about what you write because CGI artist is different from visual effects artist. So those are main abbreviations that I think you should know and uh, be careful of using. And that would be all. Thank you for your patience and see you in the next lessons.